hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this trendy gown so the one in the main picture they used a mikado fabric for it and you will need like four yards of the mikado fabric but i used a doll face for this one because i couldn't find a mikado fabric at the moment for the tutorial so and another thing is i didn't see any other color that's ha i didn't see any other color in a hard doll face so black was the only color that i could find in a hard doll face that was why i settled for it so you will need four yards four yards of doll face fabric if you are to use doll face if you are using mikado you also need four yards of mikado so i want to remind you guys that our june online classes are still ongoing so i will drop the link to our telegram group in the comment section so that you can click on that so we have the corsets class the trouser and jumpsuit class we have the blazer class and we also have the Igbo blouse class so please make sure you join our class on telegram you will not regret joining so first of all i will start with the pattern drafting after the pattern drafting we'll move over to the cutting and the stitching so you also need a lining you will need like three yards of lining for this because i turn this with the lining so this is the pattern that i'll be using i drafted my i have already drafted the vertical measurement the chest line bust point half length hip line and full length so we are going to draft a basic a line gown just a basic a line gown so you take your bust measurement plus two inches seam allowance you will take your waist measurement at the half length you will take your waist measurement plus two inches seam allowance and then from that half length you will now make an a-line shape so this this basic pattern is simple this basic a-line pattern is very simple so one thing about this gown is that this front pattern that i am drafting right now i will cut it twice like the front pattern i will cut it twice they will be equal everything will be equal but it will be two pieces so i'll go ahead and cut this pattern twice so at the down part you can see that i curved the side by like two inches like i went up by like two inches you can go up by three inches if you want and then you make the down part to be curvy so after that you go ahead and cut out the neckline after cutting out the neckline you cut out your shoulder slant after the shoulder slant you cut out the armhole and then the rest of the body I am done cutting and this is what i have right now so i'll go ahead and introduce a fresh pattern paper and i'll go ahead and cut out this front part on the second pattern paper like they will be equal everything will be equal i remember when i was drafting the pattern i folded the pattern paper i didn't just cut it out on one piece i folded it so that i would not get confused so i'll introduce a fresh pattern paper and i'll go ahead and cut exactly what i have again so i am done cutting the second one and the reason why i cut this one is because this gown is layered if you can notice the front part of this gown is layered that was why i cut out the second one so right now i'll go ahead and cut out the back part and the back part is going to have a zipper allowance so for the neck width i used three by three that is for the front but for the back the neck width will be three inches the neck depth will be 1.5 so this is the zipper allowance that is just the difference and the neckline between the back and the front so i'll go ahead and cut out the back pattern So 
So I am done cutting the back pattern and I'll go ahead and roll my zipper allowance. So this is the back. So after all this, I will have to cut out the layered part of the front. So first of all, I am going to open this pattern paper up. This is the front pattern, right? So I am going to open them up and I will place the first one on the second one. You can see that they are very equal. So after that, you are free to decide the shape you want to give this upper part. But following what I have in the picture, I will just come in by three inches from the center line. That is towards the right side, towards your right hand side. This layered part will be facing the right hand side. So from the center line, you will come in by three inches or four inches towards the right hand side then you can go ahead and mark your line so if you want this to be slanted you are free you can go ahead and manipulate it the way you want so you can see where i placed my ruler that is like three inches from the center line so i'll go ahead and draw a straight line from the upper part of this pattern down to the lower part So this is what I have right now. I'll go ahead and cut off the remaining part. So the one on the left hand side is what I'm going to be using. The pattern on the left hand side, that is what I'm going to be using. The one on the right hand side will have to go. So this is what I have right now. I have the major front piece and the layer, the one that is on top. So after this, I'll go ahead and cut out everything on my doll face fabric. So this one is the layer of the front. I'll go ahead and cut it out. This is for the back. I'll go ahead and cut the back. And remember to open your zipper allowance. It will have a zipper allowance at the back. So remember, I said that I used a lining for this. But if you don't want to use a lining for your own fine, you can use a hemming gum to hem the down part. It depends on how thick your doll face or your mikado is. So I'm cutting out my lining for all of them. And after that, I will open up my doll face this is my doll face and i'll go ahead and place my lining on it then i'll go ahead and turn the down part and the side this is what i will do to all the pieces and please remember do not turn the neckline you don't have to turn the neckline because the neckline has a bow tie i don't know if you understand so right now i am trying to cut out the sleeve i went ahead to join the doll face because i am running short of fabric right now so i joined the doll face so that i'll have enough fabric for my sleeve so if you can see the sleeve i am folding it like a triangular flay i don't want to just cut a straight puffy sleeve i folded it in a triangular form this will help give you a fuller sleeve it's also you also achieve what you have in the picture if you fold your sleeve this way so first of all you are going to cut your armhole you can see how i cut my armhole so from the upper part of this sleeve you are going to measure like 25 inches round because you like you like the sleeve to gather right you like it to gather and pack so you have to make it from 25 inches upward but 25 inches is okay so you can see how i am measuring this from the upper part from the armhole area of the sleeve i measured 25 inches down then i went ahead to cut it i joined my doll face fabric because i used three years for this style but if you are making yours you should buy four years so that you not have any joining on your dress so you can see what i have right now this is for one sleeve i'll go ahead and cut out the other sleeve as well so this one also have a joining because it will not be enough for what i want to use it for so i'll go ahead and place the first sleeve on the second one you can see this sleeve has a triangular flay shape it is not straight 
So I'll go ahead and join the shorter part so that it will be complete. So I'm done joining and I'll go ahead and recut the second sleeve. Remember, I told you to buy four years so that you know how to do all these things. So after cutting this, I'll go ahead and cut out a band. Remember, this sleeve has a band. So the band will be like four inches wide and then you measure your round sleeve. So after cutting out the band, I'll also cut out what I will use for the bow tie at the neckline and what I will use as the bow tie for the sleeve. So this is the band of the sleeve I have folded. My round sleeve, my wrist is eight inches. I added one inch to it, that is nine. I went ahead to cut. So I have 2.5 inches wideness on fold. So this is what I'm going to hem the sleeve itself. So you are going to gather this sleeve on this band. It will give you a very nice shape and fullness. You will gather this flay on this band that i cut out right now so this is what i will use for the bow tie for the neckline it should be at least it should be five inches wide five inches is very okay for the wideness then the length you are free to determine the length you want so this is what i will use for my bow tie for the neckline So after that, I'll also cut out the bow tie for the sleeve. So this is the one that we use for the sleeve. The one for the sleeve, four inches is okay. So I am done turning the gown. You can see I turned the down part and the side, but I did not turn the neckline. I didn't turn the neckline, remember? So after that, I'll also show you guys the rest of the gown. So this is the main front. And this one that I placed right now is the layer, the one on top of the front this is the layer and you can see how how fine it looks and the area where the layer stopped is very okay that is if you should use three inches inwards so you can see i pinned the two of them together so that i will not make any mistakes so i also have my back part here i have turned the down part the zipper allowance area and the side so I'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance before taking my body measurement. I'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance first of all and then iron. So I am done closing the zipper allowance and I am ironing right now. So after ironing, you place the front and the back together and then you go ahead and shape. You can take your body measurement, like you can take your bust and waist measurements if you want it to be fitted. But if you want it to be free, you can just go ahead and shape with one inch. So after shaping, this is what I have. So I'll go ahead and retrim my armhole. You can see it is looking so fine right now. I'll go ahead and retrim my armhole. So after trimming my armhole, the next thing that we are going to do is to add our sleeve. So this is our sleeve, though I haven't shaped the sleeve. And this is what we have for the both side uh, you can see that i joined the belt but i left some area open that area is the area that i will join to the neckline so here is the sleeve i have fixed my band and this is the belt that we use for the bow tie so i'll go ahead and fix it at the center of this sleeve before i'll go ahead and shape so this is the gown after trimming the armhole so i'll go ahead and open the zipper allowance I'll have to open the zipper allowance first of all. So after opening the zipper allowance, I'll go ahead and run a stitch at the neckline of the front in order to hold the main front and the layer together. And I am done doing that. So the next thing that I will do right now is to insert the, is to add the bow tie. So you can see that I left some areas open around that bow tie area. So I'll mark where I want my bow tie to be. I want it to be on the left hand side. If you want yours to be at the center or at the right, you can do that as well. So from the back part of this neckline, I will start joining the first bow tie and it will stop at that area where I marked 
you can see where i mark that is where i want my bow tie to be at then i'll go ahead and fix the other bow tie it will start from the zipper allowance you use half an inch to join it from the zipper allowance and then it will stop at that area where i marked at the left hand side as well so you join from the zipper allowance and stop at that point where i marked that is if you want to overlock the inside but if you want to join it as a band you can do that so after fixing the bow tie and the sleeve this is what i have our dress is so beautiful so guys please do not forget to follow us on facebook as so with ijoma follow me on instagram as so with ijoma you can join my telegram group as well you can search for it i will drop the link also everything is at so with ijoma so do not forget that our online classes are still ongoing so that you will not miss out guys do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and click on notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be the first to get notified i hope our dress is beautiful i would like to get your review so thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video bye